So, of course, in, tokus in TV tokusatsu, you have your two big companies. These being Toei, known for making Super Sentai Metal Heroes and Kamen Rider. And Subaraya, really only known for making Ultraman. However, Toho, who is primarily known for their tokusatsu movies, have also had their fair share of TV tokusatsu. And that's exactly what we're covering on this episode of Burning Nerds Out. Keep in mind that I'm only going to be covering major TV shows. Covering all this will, t will take a feature-length film. Toho's first major TV tokusatsu that is still available is Zone Fighter, which was clearly made to just cash in on the Ultraman craze, but it's also part of the Godzilla Showa timeline, um, uh, as Godzilla can be seen in the footage that I'm showing right here. In general, it was a pretty standard giant hero tokusatsu, just with, you know, a lot more um, Toho kaiju. Um, uh, it was... It had a bit of, I guess, standard normal heroes in it, but it was for the most part um, a giant hero. Another difference is that basically the main hero's color timer could actually be reset. Um, you're gonna have to watch the actual show to, to know how this works, but it's actually pretty interesting with the fact that as long as um, the color timer is being replaced and reset, he can pretty much stay in um, hero form for as long as he wants. So, yeah. Also, the suit looks cool. A little bit after Zone Fighter came Diamond Die, and it was back to being a standard human-sized hero tokusatsu. It was not Henshin Hero, though. Our main hero was, I believe, summoned um, to fight the monster of the week, and wasn't one of like the main characters that transformed into Diamond Die. Another thing you can say about the show is that the fight scenes are actually really well choreographed for a 70s toku. The year, well, after Diamond Die came Green Man, which is hel as hilarious as it is cheesy. It's hilarious for being cheesy. It was a giant hero henshin hero hybrid, pretty much, and um, had 52 episodes, and um, was honestly pretty friggin' hilarious, um, due to how just cheesy and overly dramatic it was. Um, uh, an interesting fact is that the suits for Manila were actually reused in this show. Next up came for Major TV Toku for Toho came Enban Senso Ban Kid, which was which holds the honor of being what I consider the very first Super Sentai cash-in. It aired at the same time as Go Ranger, and was, um, well, it was clearly trying to cash in on that. However, it made itself a little different by having two yellow senshi, and, but other than that, it was, it had a lot of things in common with Go Ranger, and was in general, mm, a very meh show. Next up was Megaloman. This was another giant hero show. And, well, at least I can say it has an awesome theme song and, once again, some pretty good cinematography. It's... It shared the same composer as Metalder, which, as you know, is one of my favorite toku ever. One of my favorite TV shows ever, actually. And, in general, it had a weird-looking suit, but the designs on it were cool and... Yeah, the main thing that kills the suit design for me is the hair. Toku shoot suits shouldn't have a hair. But yeah, in general, a pretty solid giant hero show. Now, there was a bit of a wait between Megaloman and what we're going to be covering next. But let's just say it was well worth the make, because this next topic is awesome. Cyber Cop. Okay, Satsu, Cyber Cop. This show is freaking awesome. 
it clearly is meant to sort of get in on the whole Sentai craze, which was very popular at the time, but it also manages to incorporate metal heroes by having metal parts to the suit, as well as just having amazing cinematography and being, in general, one of the most advanced toku of the late 80s in, in general, it was just an straight up awesome show and much like uh, metal and much like metal heroes it became very popular in brazil um in general it was a it was a freaking awesome show i wanted to get english subs eventually any subbing gum any subbing group please please get on to to subbing the show because it's a show that i've been meaning to watch for quite a while now and i have not gone around to watching it. Along with that, it has an awesome theme song, awesome suit designs, and in general, just one of the most amazing shows I wish I could watch, because it looks so awesome. Next up, Guyford. Now, this show was, once again, pretty cool. It was a good Henshin Hero show. Very similar to, Ch to Change Arion, actually, which it aired at the same time at, except I believe Guyford was a lot darker than Change Arion. Um, of course, the suit design is freaking awesome. It looks kind of like Phasma, like the helmet and such. The body, on the other hand, looks looks kind of Kamen Rider slash Metal Hero-esque. Um... It and Cybercop, I consider um, pseudo-Metal Hero shows. In other words, shows that could fit into the Metal Hero series, whether it be their suit design, their plot. Well, their suit design and plot can make them fit in easily, but they're not part of the Metal Hero series. So, yeah. In general, Guyford is a good show. I have no words for this next one. Ladies and gentlemen, Godzilla Island... This thing aired 256 episodes. Anyway, next step Toho definitely improved their act with what we're going to be covering next. Next up, we have the first in the Chosation series. Chosation Grand Caesar. This show is freaking awesome. It's basically... Like, Lupin v. Pato Ranger, before Lupin v. Pato Ranger was Lupin v. Pato Ranger. It has four teams of three. Who... It has four teams of three. Yeah. And they all have well-rounded characters, awesome suit designs, and some amazing fights, and an amazing theme song. Just... Ugh. Grand Sailor is amazing. And it's a degree that you should definitely watch, in my opinion. After that, we have come into the second show in this series, Just Riser. This is another very good show, which scales it down to just one team, so it's more just like your standard Sentai-like, but it's still very, very good. And it these shows combine um, uh, Kaiju with Mecha, with Henshin Heroes. It's kind of like Sentai, except it's unique in a way. I suggest you watch this show as well. The last show in this series was Caesar X, which unfortunately wasn't very popular, and thus killed a series with a lot of potential behind it, and a lot of hard work that could have led to the next huge Toku franchise. So yes, this is the last show, the last Naver TV Toku Toho has produced so far. So, that sums up my look at Toho's TV Tokusatsu shows. Um, to, so yeah, I'm of, next time I probably won't be looking at a toku, uh, it won't, my, next time the topic probably won't be toku related, but it'll probably be related to something I'm equally as passionate for, if not even more passionate for, 
It'll be equally as... It'll probably also be shorter, but will be equally as informative and be, of course, about something I'm passionate about and love with all my heart. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!